Hey guys, welcome back to Regen Performance where today we're gonna talk about posterior distraction of the hip and why that matters. So as we sit all day long, the head of the femur and the femur in general usually gets pushed to the front side, the anterior aspect of that joint capsule. And what that does is it reduces the range of motion we can have when we go into different flexion positions because if that hip is sitting at the front here, when we go into flexion, it's going to bump up against the pelvis and we're gonna be missing some of that range of motion. So when we force a range of motion, like in a squat, we're gonna compensate by the low back tilting and then that can predispose you for low back strains, bulging disc, so that's not something you wanna do. So there's different ways that as therapists and practitioners, we can mobilize the femur into the back of the capsule for our patients. However, we need to look at ways that you yourself on your own can do that. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take our bench. Okay, you're gonna take your knee and you're gonna onto the bench, put as much weight as you can. So I have very little weight on my hands right now and I'm trying to create this force that's coming through the femur and pushing that into the back of the capsule. In doing so, I'm also stretching the back of the capsule, creating more room for space. I'm loosening some of the tight ligaments that are in the back of the capsule. And from here, I can move around. I can find different areas that are painful, which indicates that there's a restriction. And I can try and put some weight through that and get into that back of the capsule. So you're gonna to wanna to spend a couple minutes, maybe three, four on each side for this one to really try and get that maximum effect of moving that femur into the back of the capsule. So that way you can have better range of motion in your squats, less pain when you're exercising, and just to create this body that is free from limitations. See you guys next time.